Welcome back, Achievers, to a little bit of a late Easy Achievers Game Podcast for the week of October 8th, 2021. One of your hosts, Elijah, sitting digitally through the internet, sitting alongside, of course, I have Alex. Or How are you? Good. I had some tech issues yesterday. Apologies for the late episode. I know the achievers out there understand. If you need the latest up-to-date news on the show, or if you're just going by YouTube, please visit the Twitter. Next time, I'll be better. I'm posting an actual Patreon as well as for an update there, but I assume most people on Patreon are on Twitter. Uh, but I will make that clear next time. Apologies for not making the upload as we usually do. We try to make every Friday. Um, but I know the achievers, you won't mind. Stan, we're not working with the best tech here. Nope. Now, Alex, hmm. usually I ask you a question here, but I want to first get into it. Um, there's not a lot of news this week. This is going to be kind of a chill episode. We're going to talk about chill. a bunch of different things. We have one big news story that I want to talk to you today. I'm very excited about. Um, but okay. first, what have you been playing? This is something we always hmm. talk about. Of course, every episode I ask you that one singular question of what have you been playing? So, two things. I mean, that's about it so far. Uh, I've been playing a lot of Tales. So much fun. Overrise. Fantastic game. Yes. Yes. So far, so fun. Don't know if um, um if any achievers out there are playing it currently, but I am enjoying this game so much. Yep. You were it is, actually, I mean, it's, it's your first it's your first Tales game, correct? Yes, it is my first Tales game. Yeah. Um we were actually playing it alongside each other. We were in a party yes. yesterday and yeah. I was playing it and you actually mentioned something very particular that I was like, interesting. Uh you said this might be the game of the year for you and I yeah, it's agree. on the list. I have it's, to agree. On, this might, so far, yeah, it's been on the list. So far, is it, if it keeps this trajectory, um, I don't, mm-hmm. and I think it will. I, this doesn't feel like a game that's going to be too bloated. That would probably be my biggest um, negative if that becomes true. So far, it isn't. Usually, if there's a side quest, it's a pretty quick side quest, and it's very gratifying. Sure. Sometimes you get a side quest that's like, oh, I need four apples and a banana, and you're like, I already have four apples and banana. Here you go. Yep, that's always go. pretty satisfying. That reminds me of um, Breath of the Wild. That mm-hmm. happened a lot, I, if I remember correctly. Where? Oh, no, no. Um, Horizon? I don't remember the game. Whatever. We mm-hmm. already had the thing. Oh, no. Assassin's Creed Odyssey. I'm th- fucking all over the place. Assassin's Creed place. Odyssey you would sometimes find things and then you'd find the person who'd want it later and that was always very satisfying. Um, and that reminds me of this feature where they want something mm-hmm. you already have it. It's incredible. Um, yes. But you were talking, but I, I cut you off. I wanted to talk um, about Tales. So I was playing, I've been playing that. Yeah. It's really fun. And the second thing I've been playing, not as much as fun as I would want it to be. Uh, it has very a lot, has a lot of issues so far. I mean, of course it is a beta, but the Battlefield 2042 beta. Yeah, so I want to talk about this, um, Alex, with you specifically, because what a jarring experience to go from the Halo Infinite flight that we oh had my God. to the Battlefield beta. Now, mm. uh, you can say all you want. Um, you could say it's not finished. You can say this is, by the way, this is something I've seen. This is apparently a three-month-old build. That's not my problem. Um, you can say mm. a lot of things, but this is a rough game. In mm-hmm. every sense of the word. From where it is what we played this weekend, I'm looking at it and I'm like, this comes out next month? That's exactly what I told you, Alex. I'll be like, this would be a perfectly fine build if it comes out in three months. This is mm-hmm. out in about a month. Um, Alex, if you can get the exact date, just so we know, I want to say... I think it's February 7th, but I'll go check. No, not February. It's still this it's, year, right? I, I don't... Is it? Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry. Yeah, I'm thinking of Dying Light. Uh, Battlefield good. is November 17th. Let me check. Just check. Release. It might be November 19th. Anyways, um, if you tell me this is in a month, I go, this might be rough. Now, I have heard Scuttlebutt that this build is three months old. Sorry. You, why? Why am I playing a three-month-old beta? You definitely should have this a little bit fresher um, for my thoughts to be a little more... Um, clear for when the game comes out. This this game looks pretty rough. Now, maybe the game launches fantastic, no glitches, but so far I've had the entire game world flicker on and off. I've had um, 
Alex's attachments keep disappearing, which is really funny. Oh my that god, that happens to me a couple you, times. But every uh, time you die, like I have to reattach my gun, my gun attachments. So yeah. it's so annoying. I didn't have to do that the merge time. Sometimes that would happen, but most of the time not. Um, and it is the nineteenth. You were correct. Yeah, and um, just other weird stuff. Tanks. Uh, I saw people flying the other day, like they were running, but they were flying in the air. Yeah. Uh, just a lot of it's a lot of visual things. The actual gameplay doesn't seem hindering at all. The, uh, mm-hmm. Honestly, what EA wants to do here is impressive. I mean, this is a giant map, and there's a lot of people on it. Yeah, there is a lot going on. But, but I want it to be stable. <laughs> you know, if I'm going to yeah. play the game, I want it to be a stable play. And also, um, we played like six or seven games, and we didn't get a tornado. That's like the biggest thing like that I was yeah, excited like to see. The biggest thing I really wanted to see, yeah. And I didn't, I didn't see get it. one tornado. So I don't know if... I mean, I think that's just a random occurrence. So I don't think we could do anything about it, but I know. But like, I did want really? to see I could play, it. Like I could play for three hours straight and not get one tornado. I mean, yeah. really? Yeah. Come on now. That's true. And I was ho- I was hoping maybe like I don't know. Maybe there's something you could do to start it or something. I don't know. That I was dumb, hoping. But... I was hoping like you know like oh you know it rotates. You know the um, each like there'll be a map. Uh, you'll see it like it's daytime. Then there's one is nighttime when it's raining. So like the yeah. one with nighttime, that... it's raining. Then you'll for sure get a tornado. Yeah. Um. um that that was unfortunate, but there it's. Hmm. I wouldn't say it is bad. But I am no more excited to play the game. Yeah, uh, definitely. Um, I didn't have out a great of, time uh, with the game. Uh, specifically. Out of the three betas that we've played in the last couple months, we're from Call of Duty Vanguard, Battlefield, and Halo. Halo is the top one, and then Vanguard is second. Uh, to me, Battlefield is the third. I probably agree with that. Um, Halo is by far the best experience, um, which is crazy because gonna... a lot of people were dogging on it when we first saw it, and it's come a long way. Yeah, I mean, it got delayed a year to be fair, so yeah, it's not quite the same with the other two games. But I see what you're saying. Um, mm. Yeah, I have to agree with that though. It, for the three FPSs coming up, uh, my excitement for Halo is unmatched by anything else. Battlefield, I originally was very excited. Now I am very lukewarm mm. i'll probably yeah. i might play it when it comes out um i'm expecting a code through my job for it uh mm-hmm. just to tell the achievers i wasn't planning on buying it regardless but i'm being gifted oh sorry i was planning on buying it but i'm being gifted a code so um through where i work so i wasn't planning on buying it uh, uh other than if i was getting a code we were gonna buy it but um but yeah, it's I, definitely a drive-by game for me. Like I, right now, I'm like, eh, I'll play it for the weekend because there's no story. So I'm like, I'll just yeah, play it no to story. see all the to to you know to experience it. You know, when the full game, and then I probably won't go back to it unless there's a good like collab or update for it. Yeah, yeah, this is definitely like a you know I'll play a little bit and then like all right, let's let's go let's go play something else. Like there's so many games in the next few mm-hmm. months. Um, and I'm going to be stuck on Tails for a long time, so mm-hmm. I don't think I'm going to be... I'm, I'll probably be done by Tails by the time this comes up, but if I'm not, I'm still playing Tails. Um, mm-hmm. And then we'll be we'll be playing Far Cry soon. Um, that mm-hmm. is something that we're waiting on in a little bit, but we should be playing that relatively soon. Uh, yep. But um, that's really all I've been playing. I play Tails, uh, of course, more Destiny with Trials, but no need to touch on that. Um, you're playing more Apex. I, I, think, uh, I think that's really been it. Yeah, oh, and... Uh... I don't know if it uh, we we uh, we did go back to Smash. We did, yes, we did. We did yeah. dabble in Smash again. Ever, Smash ever since Brothers the reveal for the Switch, yes. We're uh, the achievers, though. Um, we're you know, kind of fans of Kingdom Hearts, maybe you know, kind of kind playing of, every single of. game multiple times, kind of you know. Uh, but no, uh, joking aside, we're huge fans. So we I can't wait for Sora to come. That's October eighteenth, and that's only ten days away. So uh, mm-hmm. me and Alex will be there day one playing that. I've already have the fighter pass downloaded, and I'm just waiting yep. for that thing to hit me. Because as soon as that as soon as that is there, mm-hmm. I'm playing. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right now, I'm satisfied with my Sword Art Online collab in Tales. Ooh, it's so much fun. And then I'll go straight to that. Shout out to Tales. Don't know how they did it, but they got a collab, and it's so cool. Um, oh, it's so cool. So cool. Very, very cool that they got a Sword Art co- uh, collab. And- side, sidebar, sidebar for all the achievers who will hate this as well as I do. Kirito's English dub is the is this is the only game that has it versus the other Sword Art games that don't have it. Yeah. It's weird. Um. 
I saw a Reddit post, I think, on this, <sighs> which was hilarious. Um, so I'm a casual Sword Art fan. I watched the first season, and mm-hmm. I loved how that ended, and I did not watch anything else. But Alex is a diehard fan. And um, I actually saw a Reddit post, and I had to reconfirm with Alex. I was like, "This is a hilarious. Is this real?" And I told him, "Like, yes." Hey, the The first time we uh, the the Reddit post was the first time we see um, the English voice actor for Kirito is not in a Sword Art Online game. And I oh. chuckled pretty loud. I was like, "Is this real?" And you, he was like, "Yes, it is." <laughs> yes. Um, um, technically, I did read that he is in a canceled mobile game that came out, but uh, like went away. So that's Canceled. the only. That's the so only. Yeah, that's the only way you could have if you had played that game when it came out, but it's already done mm-hmm. by now. Uh, yeah. So that's pretty hilarious, if I do say so myself. Um, but aside from the point, um, but yeah, but uh, we're just waiting for Kingdom Hearts. I've actually kind of gotten addicted to the spirits in that game, um, because they mm-hmm. kind of feel like achievements. You get you're kind of collecting these, uh, like. Almost like stickers of characters that you know of. I went to get the Persona ones, and I got all the Persona spirits. All they do is like make you stronger in the adventure mode. That's literally all they do. But I'm just getting it's because they it's fun to get them. So I like I got those. I got the Minecraft ones. I got the uh, uh, I'm gonna get the ones from Tekken. Like it's just it's just fun, mindless. Just jump up there and hit whatever you think. Seth Roth is very fun. Alex, you played as him as well. Uh, he's yes. very fun with his giant Masumu, uh, Masumune. He's just slashing up foes. Um, mm-hmm. Shout out to that. Uh, now that we're talking about it, really quick. Um, if you don't know Achievers, King, uh, Sora, of course, from the King Hearts franchise, is coming to Super Smash Brothers October 18th. He did have the reveal earlier this week, October 5th, I believe, um, showcasing the character and showcasing uh, his skills and all that, uh, showing the map that we're going to get, et cetera, et cetera. Um, also, to note, since we're with Kingdom Hearts, um, the Switch is getting all Kingdom Hearts games as cloud versions. So one through the most recent three is getting a collection. Now, it wouldn't be Kingdom Hearts without a stupid-ass name. So the, the collection is called Kingdom Hearts Integrum Masterpiece for Cloud. And, um, yeah... Uh, the cloud games will be available to purchase individually, or you can uh, purchase an all-in-one, and that is what it's called. You'll get, here we go, Kingdom Hearts 1.5 plus 2.5. You will get Kingdom Hearts 2.8, and you will get Kingdom Hearts 3 with Remind DLC. So you will get all that in that all-in-one collection, or you can buy them individually for, I don't think prices have been set yet. Uh, but, so, um Shout out to all the Switch people. You have a chance to play this. I know a lot of Kingdom Hearts fans that are like, oh my god, I get to replay the series on Switch. I am <laughs> not one of the people that gets excited to play things on Switch. Um, yeah. I, I'm not, Especially I'm just, not re... Like, like, like games like that. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm a big fan of my TV. And I don't travel, mm-hmm. and I don't ride buses or anything like that. So I, I don't have time to play a handheld. If I'm playing my Switch, generally, it is on my TV or... When I'm hanging out the wife and we want to watch something up with the Switch and things like that. But yeah, but yeah very, very quick note on that. Um, also, a quick one. Uh, Konami is reportedly working on a new Castlevania title. Um, this is going to be a reimagining of the series. It's developed by Konami Japan. Um, and they're having support from several external partners. Uh, Alex, I think mm-hmm. we're seeing the return of Konami right before our eyes. Uh, not yeah. only with the Castlevania Advance Collection, not only with the Castlevania Anniversary Collection that came out a little bit before that. Um, mm-hmm. And then, of course, they re- re-released the Castlevania Symphony of the Night stuff. We're slowly seeing them slowly release all these things again to try and come back into the video game space. It's it's obvious they're back now. Um, their, ne- their next game is going to be the next Dance Dance. Okay. Okay. Bring back the mat. I like yeah. that. I can I can dig yeah, with yeah, that. Yeah. Um, but bring it for Switch. You know, they're. I, I mean, of course, you're gonna be like all oh, against Switch, but uh, you know, for the household, you know, they're very Switch is an uh, interactive thing. They'd be like Konami is gonna be like, oh, you know, kid, the kids can you know dance now, like they can But then it will go against just dance. So I don't know. That was a strange thing to bring up, but yes, Dance Dance Revolution can be brought back. I respect you for that. <laughs> uh, but but yeah, the slow return of Konami is very. Uh, makes me very happy. I miss them. Uh, they yep. not only hold Castlevania, they hold Suikoden, um, they hold uh, Contra. Um, they hold a lot of things that I love, and 
Cold I, I think I think the the gaming industry would be lesser without them. So I'm very very happy to see them back. For sure. Um. Uh, please make another Suikoden, please. I'm serious, please. <laughs> and also, of course, they have Metal Gear and Silent Hill. I'd be stabbed in the face if I didn't mention that. Um, there is a rumor that something is happening with Konami and Metal Gear. Mm. I don't know. Uh, in conjunction with Kojima, as well as there's a rumor about Silent Hill. So there's a lot of just stuff out there. So I think Konami is yeah. honestly fully back and working on all of their projects probably at once. So very, good. very excited. Good for them. Uh, mm-hmm. let's let's move on to a big rumor but i trust it so okay. i'm gonna i'm gonna read out the rumor i'm gonna grab a couple sources would um, you say this would be under rumor roundup this would be under rumor roundup but okay. it's almost a rumor and a news story mm. so uh, let's begin the news is and also let's begin with rumor roundup all at the same time so the scuttlebutt around the industry right now, not only from one source, but multiple people, is Bluepoint is importantly working on a full remake for Bloodborne, a 60 frames 4K patch you know, for the game. Sweet. But they're also working on a new title. And this is what um, Sony was refer- referring to original content. Uh, so I think what they did was they saw what they did with Demon's Souls, and they're like, all right, well, we're, we want you to do that with Bloodborne. They're going to do that with Bloodborne. And now they're going to learn what they got from remastering Bloodborne and they're going to make a Bloodborne 2. Now you might be asking yourself like, you know, why would I believe you, etc. Cetera, et cetera. I'm not asking you to believe me. I'm asking you to believe a lot of people on the internet, mainly known um industry, what would you call this man? Not insider, um but uh Colin Moriarty, he does a lot of discussions on his a podcast called Sacred Symbols. He's, a, he's been in the industry for, I think, 13 years or something like that. Very long time. Um, so I trust this dude. And he usually doesn't talk unless he knows something for sure. This is how I got um, a lot of other info about the industry. But mainly he brought back that uh, he has heard Blue Point is going to Yarnum. So uh, I believe him probably primarily because he's a very reliable source. And not only him, he's not the only one saying it. There's a lot of people out there. Uh, I think there's been some small leaks, although I don't think anything super substantial from them. Um, I'm mm-hmm. just going to type in because I didn't see anything from when I was checking originally for this, Alex. But really mm-hmm. quick, while I look at this. Um, also, Blood did you Born, see the- a Bloodborne remaster, something mm-hmm. I know you and I both want. That's an easy yes. decision to give the blue point, and it makes too much yes. sense to give it to them. Uh, yeah. So I, I wholeheartedly think that's for sure true. Now, let's assume Blue Point 2 is being made by them. Does that excite you? This isn't going to be from FromSoft. Oh, that for is, sure. Of course, people who make these type of games, they make Bloodborne, they make Demon Souls, they make Dark Souls, they're making yeah. Elden Ring. Are you happy with this? This is yeah, for this sure. Is I mean, someone we saw... kind of taking someone's IP and making something themselves. What do you think? I mean... Again, I'll, I'll revert to what you just said. They just did Demon Souls. Demon Souls was fantastic. So I mean, and that was a software game. Mm-hmm. And so I mean, they literally they if they do the same thing with Bloodborne and just remaster it, and I mean that's another platinum man. And like it's just gonna feel great to go back to that to that. Even though it's just I mean we just played it, but like I wouldn't mind to go back to it. Um, he did elaborate um on his Discord. Um. He does actually technically say he doesn't know if it's true, um, but he believes who he got it from. So this is, uh, yeah. I'm going to quote him. Quote, I was told they were remastering the game for PS5 and they're making a ground up sequel. Again, not sure if it's true, but uh, certainly happy to contribute to the rumor mail with this one, considering the source has been right about other stuff too, including Blue Point, but I knew that about that too. So I have to check with the person who told me about Demon Souls at Blue Point, which I was completely confident in reporting because that source is also great. If they can corroborate, then we're golden. But in thinking about it, it makes a lot of sense. Yeah, once you really think about this, first off, PS5, that is not a question that that's real. Oh, for I, sure. In my opinion, there is a Bloodborne PS5 remaster as oh, we're yeah. talking. That is probably the easiest thing to say about this rumor. Mm-hmm. The for actual sure. rumor is 
are they making Bloodborne 2? Now, PlayStation did specifically say they are excited for them to make original content. That is such a, first off, strange thing to say. Why are you saying original content? Just say make original game or something. So now, it almost seems like they're like original content. Like they're trying to like not say a game, but so we don't get too hyped and read through things. Uh, I mm-hmm. could be reading too much into that statement, but uh, what were you going to say? I was going to say um, now... Sometime today, they did say that Bloodborne's lead producer uh, is, is has joined a uh, team or has joined together Nin- with Team Ninja. Team Ninja, yes. So, oh, mm, okay, wasn't Team Ninja the ones who did Ninja Gaiden? Yes. Originally, would it be f- weird and far if they bring back Ninja Gaiden, but with the mechanics of the Dark Souls Bloodborne type fighting style? So like a slower, methodical Ninja Gaiden. Like so, use? so a, a Souls type Ninja Gaiden is what we would call it. What's funny is that would be Sekiro, wouldn't it? In a way, yeah. You're kind of um, saying what Sekiro. I mean, Sekiro is Ninja Gaiden. Let's not mix two no, words. First, now, yeah. I feel like uh, dark ga- games like Demon Souls and Dark Souls learned a lot. Mm-hmm. I think from the Ninja Gaiden series. Mm-hmm. Um, so it'd almost be like what happened with Tomb Raider, where Uncharted was made uh, in- completely inspired by Tomb Raider. And then Tomb Raider was trying to then rip off Uncharted, which is completely ironic. But mm-hmm. um, I think we would get in that situation, too, where it's like if, if yeah. Ninja Gaiden is being made, which I don't, th- I don't think it is. Okay. I don't think well, cause they even Ninja asked. They were, like, they, were like, they were like, yeah, he's joining Team Ninja, but they're not doing uh, their but they're not making a Neo game. Because apparently people were like, oh, is it Neo 3? But it, they're like, no, it's not. It, we're not working on Neo. So that's my only thing is like the next thing. I mean, they've done, I mean, Ninja Gaiden, Dead or Alive. But I don't think, I I don't know. Maybe the Team Ninja is going to work on Bloodborne 2. I don't know. No, If that no, is the case. Team, no, Blue Point is making Bloodborne 2. Okay. Sure. Team Ninja announces Bloodborne. Um, Mazaki Yamagiwa. Apologies for butchering that. Is has joined the studio. This is um, via PlayStation Universe. Team Ninja has confirmed that it has welcomed a new recruit in shape of Masaki uh, Yamagiwa. Uh, okay, hey. uh, Masaki Yamagiwa. Yeah, thank you. In addition to his work on Bloodborne, Yamagami-san also worked on likes of Derison and Tokyo Jungle before departing um, Sony Interactive Japan Studio in February of 2021. Um, he's among many individuals that left ahead of the uh, holder's decisions to effectively close the outfit with just Team uh, Sobi left in its wake. Uh, so he is moving to there. Um, the question, it is a good question to bring up, is what is, what are they working on? Yeah, the only um, thing I can, the only Ninja. reason I mention Ninja Gaiden is because, of course, uh, I mean, the, it's a, they they just came out with the Ninja Gaiden Master Collection, which was the kind. Of, nah, I mean, I wouldn't say a really remaster, remake, but a re really really, it's a re release. Yeah. So I didn't know. I was thinking maybe they will make some some type something in the Ninja Gaiden, you know, area. I don't think they own Ninja Gaiden, so I don't think they could make. What um, Team Ninja? Yeah, I don't think they own that IP. Yeah, it's. I think it's. I think it's Tecmo. Yeah. Um, can you search that? Who owns Ninja Guy 9P? Yeah, because I know that the developer was Tecmo and Team Ninja, but let's yeah. see. Because uh, that's a good question. I don't know who owns that IP anymore. Um, yeah. God, this let's see. My uh, computer's let's loading see. so slow now. Um, I was trying to see if I could piece together what they might be working on. Because um, they, did, they did co-develop Hyrule Warriors with Omega Force. They've been busy with that. Um, and they're, of course, making Stranger of Paradise, the Final Fantasy Origins game, which is, which looks so weird. So that's coming out. They did, of course, um, work on the Ninja Gaiden Master Collection. Uh, so I'm, if I had to guess, uh, either they own the IP or whoever they publish with own the IP. Yeah, it, yeah. Tech, it, it, Tecmo owns it, but like it, Team Ninja is still part of Tecmo. Yeah, yeah, they, they're, they're developers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, oh, yeah. Tech, tech mode technically owns Energy Garden. Cool, um, but yeah, that that would be. Yeah, we. Oh God, we. I completely sidetracked. But yeah, Ninja mm-hmm. Gaiden 
I don't know. I don't know if we'll ever see them come back. Um, yeah. At least anytime soon. I don't even know what a Ninja Gaiden game would look like right now. They tried to bring it back with three, kind of. And mm. that was just... that. Obviously, no one liked that. Um, yeah. So they would almost have to make a Sekiro game, which, again, mm-hmm. Sekiro takes a lot of inspiration from Ninja Gaiden. So it's, it, we would be in that... Let copy Tomb Raider than uh, Tomb Raider copies Uncharted. So yeah. very strange, but... Um, but yeah, I want to talk... Uh, going back to the... Uh, Bloodborne rumor. Mm. Uh, what do you, what do you think? Like, is this something that you, you said you said something you want? I'm actually, uh, to circle back because I didn't answer. No, I, I'm very, I'm very excited about this. I don't mm-hmm. think we are going to get a FromSoft collab again. I think that was a one-time kind of deal. I don't think we're we're gonna see them partner to make a Bloodborne two because I think they're honestly busy making their own stuff so they can make more money. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know how much From would cost to make a game now, but I'm assuming PlayStation would rather just. Uh, we already own the IP. We're just gonna we're gonna train this other dev to do the game instead of just paying From. And I think yeah. I think I, uh, an idea of them actually making a Bloodborne two is very exciting. Yeah, I mean it, it's been a while. I I, I don't know if. The Frums and games are so unique. I don't know if you can make a game like that because it's so weird. Mm-hmm. Like you have to almost like be weird, but not try too hard. You know, mm-hmm. like in Bloodborne, you collect umbilical cords like to make a weird mm-hmm. god baby thing, and you kill a, like an. There's aliens, and then if you have weird, insight, man. you see these giant squid people god things and this this is said like in a victorian thing with lichens and stuff like yeah, that like yeah so like you have to almost be believably weird <laughs> and how do you how do you do that yeah. so like it's gonna demand a lot of talent but i mean blue points so i mean i i trust them now this is the first time if this is true we're gonna see them make new stuff look they look they completely have my vote once I saw the Demon Souls remaster, and that was outstanding. So we'll see what they'll do next. Yeah, I mean, again, I want to see. I want to. I if we're gonna see them make something, so we'll have to see like what what they're what are they gonna do? I don't I don't even know when's the last time Blue Point made a video game. Sorry, achievers. My computer for some reason is going so slow. So apologies for the while well, that loads. Yeah, it's not important. Mm-hmm. Let's do this. You know, Alex, with that point where my computer sometimes just starts freaking out, it is in mid freak out. So I'm just going to leave that and we're going to skip to a bunch of people know uh, how much Twitch streamers make now. And um, some people were mad, which was weird. <laughs> uh, so, Alex, I don't know if you saw this, but basically, a uh, hacker, if uh, I guess is the word, leaked a bunch of documents. But mm-hmm. did so in a nature where it only showed um, some sort of figures for things. I don't know. I don't think we know why they did this, but uh, what they did was they hacked a bunch of stuff. They posted the source codes. They posted um, how much the Twitch people make, like the top 100. They posted how much they make in, uh, I, w- uh, I th- want to say, in that year or something like that. And okay. a lot of people were like, why are you making so much money? And. <laughs> A lot of people were upset. Now, I didn't see a lot of the upset people. It was more people reacting to the upset people, if I'm being honest. But that's usually yep. how Twitter works is you don't see the people that are mad. You just see everyone's reaction to them. But what I want to ask you, Alex, is does this, what it, does this do anything to you? I mean, I'll be honest. Um, I can do math. And most mm-hmm. of the time, you can just see how many people are sub to a channel. And if you can't, yeah. you can just kind of figure out who's making a lot of money. Oh, for sure. I mean, um, I feel yeah. It depends on like so, you know. I mean, we know we we know the big we know the big guns who's who's making all that stuff, but right. it doesn't really. I mean, I I, I wish I could do it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you could do it now. Someone actually brought up a very interesting point, and it was very to the nose. It was uh, I don't know if you follow him. I I don't. I just know of him. Hassan, uh, he's a Twitch streamer. Airman. Yes, Hassan Kerman. <laughs> um, but uh, 
I think he goes by Hassan B or something like that. No. Apologies, achievers. I think you, uh, there's an achiever probably like, no, his name is this, but I, I don't remember. But he basically tweeted out that was like, yeah, you know, uh, these people make a lot of money. If it's so easy, then you do it. Uh, no, he basically made the point like, no one complains when athletes make um, a, a mo- uh, money and they make way more money than these people are making. So why, if it's so easy, you do it. And he brought up a good argument. I mean, if you're gonna, if you're gonna, thank you. Yes, um, he brought up that, and I was like, yeah, base. That's the great point. If if you're gonna be, you can't really be upset about this because if you if you are, then like, what are you doing? Second, um, what's funny? Uh, I think um, a good way of summing everything up uh, is mm-hmm. a very funny uh, picture I saw. It was a picture of a hole in the wall of about about fist sized. And the okay. caption was, I just found out streamers were making money the whole time. And that's, I think that is a good way of captioning yeah, off hilarious. that, that discussion is just like, yeah, they were making money. They were making a lot of money. Um, and again, if most of those numbers are public, so if you just do kind of basic math, you can figure out people are making a lot of money. I for don't sure. have any qualms or problems with people making money, especially when there's demand for it. Mm-hmm. Uh, people like content and they're going to pay for it. And it's not easy to stream. Again, if it's easy, go do it. Go get a thousand people to not only watch you, but then stream to you where there's, they can already watch you for free. So why would they pay for you? You know, at, you know it gets complicated very fast. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, I look at the list of the, the things that I'm not like, I mean, it is surprising on the people that are, at, let's, let's say, top 10. Because I, half of them, I haven't even heard of. Yeah, I mean, that's, I kind of like that. I like that. There's people making bank, and I have no idea who they are, and that's mm-hmm. where that's why Twitch is so popular. Like, or that's I, one of the good things about Twitch is there's so many people doing the service. I mean, I I mean, I've heard it's super cool, but I mean, I'm a I'm a put him on the spot. Critical Role is number one. That is nuts. Yeah, Critical Role makes a lot of money. I that watch I watch crazy. Critical with my wife. They yeah. make bank. They like make that bank. Is, They're a company. Like good for them, but like, wow, I was not expecting that. Yeah, I mean, now ach- the achievers. Um, I'm only messing with the achievers. You know, I'm not actually talking to you. But if you are actually mad about this, um, add a couple more zeros to this because this is just off subs, just off subs. That's not including uh, marketing deals, um, social media ads. That's not including the. Um, sir, uh, you know, there's a lot more money For before sure. just sub counts. If you're just doing sub merch, if you're just making money off oh, subs. Imagine the you merch. don't know what you're doing. Yeah, yeah, imagine merch. I mean, come on, this is we get we, we're getting this is baby numbers. You can get way crazier in this stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, For yeah. Sure. So yeah, it's it is pretty. It was pretty interesting seeing everyone kind of like. Oh, so that's how much money they make. And I was like, yeah, I mean, they make a lot of mm-hmm. money. They make a lot of money. Yeah, just straight. Like, a lot of people, like, you know, you hear the uh, uh, the adults these days, though. They'll be like, oh, you know, streaming, they, that's playing video games. You don't make a lot of money off that. And mm-hmm. I'll look at them. I'm like, you have no idea, you have dude. no idea. No idea. Literally, literally, you can have, like, a high-tech engineering job, and you probably don't make as much as they do. Yeah, I mean... Good point. I remember. Like, I'm like, like, I know it'll probably upset some people. Like, no, like for course. that. But like, still, I mean, it's crazy. I mean, I, like, I think no one took video games seriously until that Fortnite tournament. Do you remember that? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, if, if for the achievers that don't remember, the, the this was about one. Was this three or, years ago, Alex, or two years ago? You talking about the the what was it? The sixteen year old. Uh, I mean, yeah, or, yeah. Like, whatever that, that tournament was, I feel like not many people were taking video games seriously until that tournament happened. Um, I think it was on ESPN or something like that. Like, I, I don't, mm-hmm. I might be mixing stories, but that was a huge tournament, and the guy walked away with a million bucks or something like that, like some stupid amount of money. And people finally started taking video games seriously as like a tournament like. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was a, he was a 16 year old it was in 2019 okay so i was close he went and he won the three million in the fortnite world cup yeah so that's that's when i feel like that's when video games were taken seriously and now probably thanks to this huge league streamers will probably start being taken way more seriously uh because now they know oh 
these people are actually making money. And, and uh, you know, some parents might look at it as an, an actual job now, too, you know, and put that yeah. in quotes, like an actual job, because they see how much money can be made in this. Again, I'm a huge uh, fan of capitalism, so <laughs> go where the money is, fam. Go where the money is. Now, right. Alex, I don't know if you saw this. Hmm. Uh, this is very interesting. So, Sony's going to start making game trials on the PS5. Um, like demos? So, yes and no. Not really a demo. It reminds me of kind of a Steam-esque approach to a demo. So, in the UK, you can go to Death Stranding, Director's Cut, or Sackboy, A Big Adventure, and there is a trial, and you will download a free trial of the game. And apparently it is a... I want to say, again, I'm so sorry, Cheevers. For some reason, my computer is dying before my eyes. Um, but it's a <laughs> six hours of playtime. Um, Sackboys was five hours. Okay. Okay, so kind of like what uh, now, EA Access does with their games. You have of, like 10 hours of gameplay to be able to play. Now, it wouldn't be Sony unless there was a really weird-ass decision in the middle of it. But for whatever reason, the timer starts when you download the game. So, when oh, once you it's hit, done, or when you start, when downloading? you hit download trial, the timer okay. starts. So it lets. What, what if that? What if the trial That's takes a great like question? Two, like two hours to download. <laughs> That's a, exactly. So if you have garbage internet, yeah. Let's say it takes you four hours to download it. You now That's have two hours to play the video game. I have no idea. Maybe they can't. Maybe they have no idea. Like, maybe they don't have the right input to know when you hit X on starting the game. I can't imagine the engineer. This is another weird engineering. Again, Sony sometimes. I mean, how much money does this corporation make? Uh, millions of dollars. Um, and they Sony's, can't figure that out? It's Sony's uh, Xbox, biggest. I, I, Xbox can figure that out easily? It's sure. Sony's biggest uh, moneymaker. And um, mm. they, they have issues mm. with this. But again, it's, it seems mm. like Sony, a lot of the times has engineering problems there's times where the engineering in their systems and i'm like this is so impressive and there's times like this where it's like bro why <laughs> like why is it so hard for you like this was such i was so excited about this because mm -hmm. we're gonna get this eventually and i'm sure they'll figure out a way to fix this uh if they don't it would i i kind of hope they don't fix it because it's kind of yeah. hilarious but um so we, could, we could talk more stuff shit about it just yeah it, it's fun talking shit but I'm, I'm kidding I, I don't actually but anyways mm -hmm. um but but yeah it's a great idea it's you get to play it i mean i don't know if you remember alex i i know you do but okay. achievers i don't know if you remember uh we were promised both i believe on playstation and xbox on their respective launches of both ps4 and xbox one that every game listen to me every game would have a demo i don't know if you you remember this alex but this was a press release they both, I believe, said this, that each game would have to have a demo. I remember this vividly. I could be wrong on one or the other, but I know for a fact um, one of them said it, and I'm pretty sure both of them said that they would require games to have demos, and that immediately, like, immediately went away. Like, that was something they never talked about again. I think Alex is checking... Uh, Checking. I am. I am checking. But yeah, this would be in about 2013, uh, maybe 2012. But they for it sure was, said. PS5 uh, rumored to give every PlayStation game a free demo. Yep. It, it was not a rumor. They for sure said it at some yeah. point. Yeah. It was May 2nd, 2020, and there was an article about I'm it. I'm full of shit. I could be wrong. I'm no, I know I'm not wrong. I'm always right about everything. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> anyways. That's crazy. But yeah, I just wanted to bring that up. I, I can't wait for it to come to the States uh, and go to everywhere. Yeah, no, it's exciting to try it. To see, you know, I mean, I, I know an area that has, you know, bookie internet, so we could try yeah. it there. I mean, yeah, you <laughs> used to live, honestly, in an area where you had... I got 10 megs. Yeah, you had terrible internet. Mm -hmm. um, you were, like, in the middle of, like, a kind of foresty area. and Yep. Never again. That yeah, and that's when they're like, uh, that's when internet it. providers are like, nah, we're not like, gonna give I, you internet. Like, 
it like yeah like literally I, i'd call comcast and be like hey can i get internet out here and they're like we can't get it out there because there's no area to run your cord to there's no like box so they can't even do anything so they're like sorry stick with windstream <laughs> if you guys know what that is <laughs> i know someone knows that someone's like somebody knows someone's this. like that's hilarious yeah it takes me all night just to download like what a 30 a 30 gig game and i had to just like hey all right i'm going to bed i'm gonna let it download overnight yep that was always <sighs> hilarious to me too when i was like oh let's play the game and you're like well i'll, I'll play it tomorrow <laughs> i'm like oh that sucks that sucks mm-hmm. alex hmm. let's talk about what's coming to game pass yes available as of recording Totally accurate battle simulator celebrates its full release um, after a successful run in the game preview program. Be the leader of wobblers from ancient lands, spooky places, and fantasy worlds. Watch the fight and simulations made with the wobblers physics system ever created. Make your own wobblers in the unit creator or send your armor off army off to fight your friends in multiplayer. Uh, this is going to cloud console PC, and this is an idea to Xbox title. So it's a couple ones um, available as of recording. The procession to Calvary. Cloud console PC, another ID at Xbox title. A Python skew, Python scale, whatever. Adventure game in which you journey through a richly detailed landscape built from hundreds of Renaissance paintings, embark on a quest as an unnamed heroine to hunt down the tyrant Heavenly Peter. What the? Encounter a bizarre cast of characters, perplexing puzzles, and implausible scenarios. Alex, if you see one you want to cover. Please go ahead. Visage Cloud Console and BC ID at Xbox. October 7th, Visage uh, is a first person psychological horror game. Explore a mysterious, ever changing house in a slow paced, atmospheric world that combines both uncannily comfort. Uh, that, that game is nuts. Uncannily comforting and horrifically realistic environments and enjoy a genuinely Shouldn't terrifying. Should it be uncanny? Yeah, it nah, has there should be, right? be no L, right? Yeah. Uncanny comforting? Uncannily. Com- comforting word? maybe i'm please I google that i i've never seen this um Un- uncannily what the? back for blood um comes october 12th to cloud console and pc available day one with the xbox game pass back for blood is a thrilling a cooperative go ahead it's a word it's a word uh definition please in a strange or mysterious way especially one that is unsettling okay so it's uncanny but Bobby looks uncannily like his father. That's what that's the, the sentence he gave me. Okay, yeah. It's uncanny, but it's uncannily. Mm-hmm. Interesting. It's a thrilling cooperative first-person shooter from the creators of the critically acclaimed Left 4 Dead franchise. Experience the intense four-player co-op narrative campaign. Competitive with multiplayer as human or ridden and frenetic gameplay that keeps you in the action. Destiny 2 Beyond Light comes to PC on October 12th. A new power is born out of an ancient pyramid ship above Europa's frozen frontier, and a dark empire has risen beneath. United under the banner of the fallen kill of darkness, Aramis, join your fellow guardians and bring down the empire at any cost, even if it means wielding the darkness itself. You imagine not playing Destiny and reading that? I understand every single part of that, but it, and imagine someone who does not know what Destiny That would just be a bunch of just Gibberish. nonsense. Yeah. Ring of Pain, Cloud, Console, and PC ID at Xbox October 14th. Enter the Ring of Pain, a roguelike card crawler where encounters come to you. Each step around oh, the ring me. is a dire decision. Go for the loot or backstab a creeping horror. Meet strange friends bearing gifts and treasures. Choose your gear wisely to survive and discover secrets. You lost me when you said card crawler. crawler. So a roguelike card crawl so so i can i can just imagine right now it's gonna be like hades slash diablo dungeon crawler but instead of fighting you're gonna be using cards to fight like 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 all these other games with cards this sounds like something alex would just hate (laughs) like it sounds like something you would just hate like it has everything you don't like rogue like a card game and it has a dungeon crawl aspect, which you sometimes like. It's not like. that I don't like it. It's that I suck at them, so it, it upsets me that I can't get better <laughs> at them. The Rift Breaker Cloud Console... Sorry. Cloud, PC, and Xbox Series S and X ID at Xbox October 14th. This is available day one. Thank you. Game Pass, you're an elite scientist commando inside an advanced mecha suit. Enter a one-way portal to a distant planet with the purpose of building up a base that will allow travel back to Earth and further colonization. Build up your base, collect samples, and research new inventions to survive. 
So it's time for a No Man's Sky mixed. Exactly, yeah. The Good Life, <laughs> cloud console and PC, ID at Xbox, the October 15th. Life. Available tape one with the <laughs> Xbox Game Pass. Journalist Naomi, Na- sorry, Naomi Hayward, Hayward is drowning in debt. Oh, having no. accepted a request from the Morning Bell newspaper to, quote, uncover the mystery of a small English town, end quote, Naomi Maybe found herself close. far from home in New York in rainy woods known as, quote, the happiest place in the world, end quote. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, for some reason, the Windows 11 update is in this. <laughs> I don't know why. Uh, but if you want to download that, you can. It has a bunch of built-in Xbox functionality, which is very cool. Yep. Um, there's the Xbox Cloud Gaming uh, beta on PC mm-hmm. uh, shout-out in this. And there's a bunch of other things on here that I'm not going to go over. Um, that is the course, as always, as every week, on the Game Pass Sorry, Xbox blog, news.xbox.com. Mm-hmm. Um, I did forget to mention this in the very beginning, um, but we did get confirmed this morning that the Grand Theft Auto, the trilogy, the definitive edition, <laughs> fucking terrible name, is coming. It was officially announced. There's a bunch of... Uh, we know nothing about the game other than they said a bunch of flowery words about it. They were like, it's going to have enhanced gameplay and visuals, but will still have the classic look. It's like, what the fuck? You, I told... I was like, oh. what? I was like, what? Why are you like, yeah, they're not changing this. this they're not changing. Gonna be, this, they're going to put no. them together. They're going to have small tweaks, and that's the game. No. I seen a tweet, and I forget who, from who it was. They're like, oh, uh, there was like a poll. It's like, oh, do you think... Um, Grand Theft Auto is gonna get uh, G- like GTA type looks. Like, is it gonna be remastered or is it gonna be the old style? It's like old you're style. You're smoking not... crack. Yeah, they're Whoever not gonna. Battle... They're doing they're anything to, to this. That. You're smoking yeah. crack. Yeah, they're not doing nothing to this. Literally, I'm. I'd be. I'm surprised that they're gonna. They're adding achievements and stuff. To this I think game. it will be slight. It will look if you put them side by side. This one will It'll for look sure better, look better. This but is it's not gonna play like yeah. like the old ones. Yeah, I, I am not excited for this unless they make me excited. I have no intention on going back to these games because they, I think, will feel old. But if they tune it just the right way, I might go back. Yeah, I will go back as long as there's good achievements. Because I love Vice City, and I've uh, it's been a long time since I've been to San Andreas. And honestly, I've never beaten GTA 3, so... I played them all as kids, and I that was before I knew video games very well, <laughs> so I was just playing them. Mm-hmm. I didn't start really playing them until Grand Theft Auto 4 is when I started like actively yep. playing the video game, and I finished that one. I played the heck out of Vice City. I loved 4. Stranger of Paradise Final Fantasy Origins release date is March 18th, 2022. Um, that game looks, that game looks weird. That game looks weird. I, I don't know if you saw all the jokes, Alex, but mm-hmm. a lot of people were making um, jokes. So there's a scene in the game... Uh, it's not funny when you spell it out, but basically a character um, just looks at another character and just says, uh, bullshit, and then he hits a button on his phone and walks away. And a lot of people have been dubbing very hilarious music over it. So one was like, um, uh, Smash Mouth uh, from the Shrek uh, movie. Um, a lot of funny stuff. So that's, that's the only reason I know that's a thing, is because of that scene. Mm-hmm. PlayStation Now mm-hmm. games uh, added as of October 2021. Last of Us Part 2 is there until Jan- January Ooh. 3rd. Fallout 76, Amnesia the Collection, Desperados 3, Final Fantasy 8 Remastered, Victor Vran Overkill Edition, yet another Zombie Defense HD, all being added to PS Now. Um, a very quick um, note that I did not bring up at the beginning of the show, but I do want to give a special shout out to one Greg Miller. He is now a father. Congratulations. Very happy for you. Very happy for you. I have not yet experienced. There you go. I, I have not yet experienced the joyous of having a child, but um, Alex, you have. Mm-hmm. Uh, so it's great. Um, if you had to tell him one advice, what would it be? The poops only get worse. I hope you were listening, Greg. He's never going to see this, but I hope you were listening. <laughs> The poops I, I, only get worse, he said. The only reason? Because of the smell. The smell? The, okay. So the, the smell, smell gets worse. So I'll tell you this. I have taken care of multiple newborns. Mm-hmm. Um, not, I'm not really affected by the poop, to be honest. 
Um, I'm, I mean, I'm not affected, but like, I can't like. There's two. Uh, there's two newborn poop. Yep. It's it's the it's, tarry. It's, it's the tarry stuff. It's like solid. Very. It, it doesn't. It's not really runny. It's just kind of. It's just poo. Yeah, we'll see. It, like, see when when she uh, when my daughter was born, it was just the the tar stuff. But yeah. I had no smell whatsoever. My wife said it was horrible. She couldn't smell. And she she said she could smell it. It was bad. I couldn't smell nothing. Now, of course, of course, my daughter my daughter's going through a phase where apparently it looks like rabbit pellets. It's weird. It's just it, and and it smells horrendous. <laughs> It's like the worst thing I've ever smelled. And I'm like, oh, my God. And especially when it's in that diaper genie. Greg, get a diaper genie. It's awesome. <laughs> but hey, That's oh the second one for free. Yeah. And you only had to give you one. Now make you sure you empty that genie. thing. Because if you leave it, oh, my God. <laughs> Once you open it, dude. Oh, my God. And all, any fathers out there, any father achievers, you understand? Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Thank you so much for that, Alex. Um. But yeah, we just wanted to give a quick shout out to him. Very happy to see that. It was um, yep. uh, this morning that, it, that they got the very nice news. Um, mm-hmm. To uh, not do a very good segue at all, um, <laughs> there was a deal at a GameStop, Alex. I told mm-hmm. you about this, but I want to tell the tell achievement. Me. Tell me, tell me, tell me. That the, my, uh, the Switch would trade in. They do, you know, mm-hmm. they trade in, they'll buy your stuff or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, and they w- they said that if you traded in your Switch, put it towards an OLED model, you would get 260 bucks for the Switch you were trading in. Mm-hmm. Um, if you do some quick math, that's like you only pay like 90 bucks to get the new Switch. Um, so mm-hmm. Achievers, uh, I have a new Switch now. <laughs> I, I, vehemently said, nice. I vehemently said I would not buy this. I do. I'm not. I'm not either. But, but like, when I, I could, more, when I saw that it was only that, eighty dollars, like, I went. I'll pay eighty bucks to have a new thing. So achievers, mm-hmm. I now have an OLED switch. I will be playing this over the week, maybe the um, as well as the weekend. I will try to have a coherent review for you um, to let you know if you do need you have, to do have, have a thing. Do you have a witch right now? Or is it still oh, charging? See. Oh, I'm sorry, uh, uh, achievers. You, you're probably like, uh, he showed you like three times. I, I, we're having issues. Having he can't, issues. He can't, I can't see my screen see for anything. some reason. Yeah. I don't know I'm why. I'm talking to myself. Yeah, I don't know then... why this has been happening, but ever since Discord updated, he hasn't been able to see me. I don't know why yeah. this is. It's just frozen on his end, but like, uh, yeah. obviously you can see everything is fine, but like yeah. on my end, I it's frozen on his but, end. But yes, Alex, I, I do have it with me. I showed cool. the Achievers the quick screen. You can't really, of course, see how good this looks. It does look very good. I'm playing Smash yeah, right I... now. Um, I looked at it in person. It makes me want. Literally, when I, you were, told me the like is only like eighty dollar difference, I'm like, do I have anything to trade in? <laughs> right, like, I'm, I'm really, I'm tempted, dude. I'm so tempted to do it. Yeah, man. Yeah. I, I mean, it's definitely like, it's definitely worth it to me. Like this was, this is, yeah. this thing is awesome. Like the screen looks very mm. nice. Um, I think I'm definitely gonna play it in handheld more. I usually play it only on the TV screen. I think I'm going to take a picture from your book. Uh, I'm mm-hmm. going to go to bed a tiny bit early, but I'm going to bring the Switch with me and play mm-hmm. a little bit of Switch. So yeah, that's what I do that. every night. I go, I, I go in bed, play a little bit of Smash, and then put it down. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I'm going to start doing that for sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm more of a handheld one just because, I mean, sometimes for me, baby. dude. Well, that, well, for some reason, when I put that thing up to the, to the TV, I feel like it's just... It doesn't look as that like, good as no. I want it to, so it's kind of di- it's kind of disappointing. So yeah. I would rather have the screen itself. Yeah, yeah, and uh, and I mean, like seeing that, seeing the switch zoomed up on a sixty-five inch TV, it yeah, doesn't look great. Really yeah. Yeah. It doesn't I mean, look of great. course, depending on the TV, but eh. yeah, it, it, uh, yeah, I do agree with you, Alex. It does depend on the TV, but like also, like it doesn't look great. It doesn't. Yeah, look great. like doesn't. come on. <sighs> um, but yeah. I'll have a review for you guys. Um, I will play Metroid Dread soon. Uh, I will probably start that tomorrow. I don't know. Tails has got me, got me good. So I'm probably got you. probably gonna be playing Tails. Not gonna lie to you. Tails guys. got you by the cojones. You know what I'm saying? Oh God! All right, yeah, my testicles. Sure. Um, <laughs> but yeah, yeah, I will be playing Tails for sure. Metroid is a big maybe. It, that's gonna be like when I get to it because there's so many mm-hmm. games. And then I do Far want Cry to try it. soon. Like, I, pff, my God. Somebody. Yeah, I definitely want to try Metroid because I've never really played Metroid. The only Metroid game I've ever played, I don't remember which one it is, but it was on the DS. 
and there was a bunch of little bugs everywhere. And I, all I know is that on the bottom screen, I would change the Metroid into like a ball, and I would hit the bugs. I don't know which one that is, but I, that's the only one I've played. It's like every Metroid game. Don't worry. Is it really? <laughs> okay, cool. What you described, I think, is in every single Metroid. Oh, wow. Okay, cool. Um, but uh, but yeah, the the Metroids. Um, I loved. I've only played the first and Super Metroid. Uh, mm. I've not played, I believe, any other Metroid game. If I'm remembering correctly, I might have played a Metroid uh, game on DS I when I was the, a little if kid. If I count the ones on the Nintendo Switch, you know, classic thingy, did you talk about the NES one? Yeah. Okay, I've I've tried that one. Yeah, that you've was tried probably it, yeah. about it. Yeah, okay. I've I've played like half of the first Metroid and some of Metroid. Super Metroid. I would say about a third um, okay. of Super Metroid. Those are great games. I really actually want to go back to Super Metroid to finish mm. that because I had so much fun. It's just yeah, so much stuff comes out, so it's hard to play. Yeah. But I, hmm. that's a show of the week. Mm. Uh, thanks so much, Achievers, for joining us this week. Now, I don't have a I don't have a question for you guys, so I want you to tell me what you think about the OLED model. Let, let, let us down in the comments. I want you to think like, is this something that you even care for? Do you have a Switch? Are you going to upgrade? Are you waiting for the new Switch that we are definitely going to get in the next two years? guarantee you there will be a new switch in the next two years wouldn't be shocked if we get an announcement of a new switch this time next year i don't think that's gonna happen but it, it anything could happen but yeah but yeah alex um we don't have much we're we're, we're right on the cusp alex of of prime video game season so mm-hmm. we're gonna be pretty busy the coming weeks um, we don't really have anything until the Guardians of the Galaxy. Speaking of which, Alex, um, I sent you something on the Instas of Grams. Did okay. you see all of these songs that are on Guardians of the Galaxy? That looks very... I f- didn't. I yeah, did yeah, check real, check real quick. So, Achievers, if you didn't see this, uh, Square released a song list. So, apparently, if I maybe misheard this, but apparently you'll be able to play music when you're battling people, and it's a lot of old 80s songs. And they're actually they're really cool ones. Tears for Fears is on theirs, which is how you get to my heart immediately is put some Tears for Fears on there. Wake me up before you go, go. Don't leave me hanging on like a yo-yo. And yes. There's a bunch of Motley Crue I saw in there. Oh, Take uh, On Me. By uh-huh. Take okay. On Me. Shout out to Saints Row uh, 2 for that song. Saints Row 2, I believe, had that on their radio. And it was dope. I mean, Last of Us Part Two just did it as well. They did. Shout out to Ellie. Oh my god, that scene. Oh, that scene. Ugh. Yeah, it is cool. It, that that, that does make me a little bit more excited for the game. Yeah, the if I can, me up a little bit. if I can blow take on me. Oh god, that sounded that got really no. sexual really fast. No, if I can I really, blare take on me mm-hmm. in my headset while I'm blowing up like people and guardians, like okay, I'm, I'm now, a little bit closer to it. What they need to do. They need to take advantage of the 3D Pulse headphones. And what they need to do for, I mean, I don't know if they could do it for Xbox, but at least take advantage of the 3D Pulse headphones. They have a lot of 3D audio and a lot of headsets. When you're playing the game as Star Lord, of course, you're shooting everything, you know, everything, everything is, you know, hot and you're loud of the explosions. And then if you can, like, once you turn the music on, make it sound like when you put the headphones on. I like where you're going. Make it sound like you're listening music out of the headphones and you can slightly hear the explosions. So, like, very faint. Like, how let's say yeah, you're listening to music in real life. Everything is, like, kind of, like, suppressed. But, like, yeah. you hear the music more. Yeah. If they do that, that realisticness, that's probably going to be fun. I don't know why I want that, but like I just feel like it's just no more realism to it. Yeah, I mean, I, I if I have to be honest, uh, I went from not giving the tiniest of mm. shits about this game to I'll give you a shit. Mm-hmm. Now you have one shit, okay? Don't mess it you up. Don't... don't mess it up with another Look. trailer where you're where – you're, I'm sorry, Look, you, writers you of got, Guardians. You got my but... daughter's rabbit poop, all right? Oh my God. <laughs> On that note, <laughs> thank you so much for joining us for this week. You know how to support us, but uh, for the uninitiated, you can, of course, go over to any podcast service of your choice and give us a five star review. That helps us so much in how they recommend us. If you want to help us here on YouTube, you can give us a like, you can comment. You can subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell. That helps us times two. Subscriptions help a lot, but hitting that notification bell tells you when we upload. Mm-hmm. 
if you want to help us financially, you can head over to patreon.com slash EG Achievers. Um, look at the tiers. Pick which one you prefer. Remember, if you want to um, be interactive in the show, you can always leave your questions, comments, concerns, thoughts, ideas. In How the about page. tweet at us if you guys get the Switch OLED? I, I want to see your pictures of your Switch OLED. I would set. love to see. I would love to see some pictures of some achievers sent to me on Twitter. That'd be so awesome. I love interacting with you guys. Uh, if you uh, again, if you check every YouTube video, we comment to every single person unless it unless it's a literal bot, <laughs> unless it is an actual. As long as it's an actual person, we do comment, um, and it's very fun. I love talking to you guys. So. Uh, sure. tweet at us pictures that's always fun too i want to see some faces mm -hmm. if you have a baby don't don't take a picture of your baby i was gonna say take a picture of your baby send us don't do that but take a picture of your switch oled if you didn't get a switch oled take a picture of just nothing and say i didn't get it just take it just just look at a table take a picture of that send it to me and say hey i, I did not get a switch oled you can say you that too. i'm gonna see, we're gonna see we're gonna see we're gonna see the the, the regular switch with a with a with a letters OLED on the screen and that's it. Yeah, just taped on Achievers, there. Achievers, you have an idea now. Mm -hmm. Don't mess it up. Don't mess it up. Thank you so much for joining us for this um, hour long Easy Achievers. We almost ended an hour on the dot. Mm -hmm. Almost. The, oh, we were. I was trying. I was trying to get it there, but I oh, talked too much. We we talk way too much. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Remember, we'll see you next week. Go chief. Go chief. <laughs>